Hey, we're talking today about categorical syllogisms and Euler diagrams. You don't have to know the word Euler diagram. I just want you to make sure that you understand that it's different from a Venn diagram. We're not comparing two things. A uh, Euler diagram is just a, a graphical way of really analyzing a categorical syllogism. So a categorical syllogism is when you've got a syllogism, you know, an argument in standard form with two premises and a conclusion that uses categories. All right. Uh, you'll see a categor categorical syllogism anytime premises use the words like all or most or some, like, or even like percentages. If it's, you know, nine out of ten doctors prefer blah, 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 um, that's a categorical syllogism because the category of doctors is being compared to the category of people that prefer this product. All right. Um, one of the tricky ones is the word all. Um, I could say, I could say, Dogs are oops, mammals, right? This is a true statement. We know this, the dogs are mammals, no big deal. Um, what you don't see there is the word all. Uh, it's kind of like an algebra when sometimes numbers are hiding. Um, what I'm saying when I say dogs are mammals, I'm saying that all of them are. All dogs are mammals, okay? I don't need the word all, but you need to understand that it's there. When I say a, a, just a fact, uh, you know, a, a plain state blanket statement like that, uh, the word all is there, so I have created categories, dogs and mammals. Now, the question is, how do you draw that? How do you draw a sentence? Well, if I've got two categories, I'm going to start with the bigger category, the mammals. So, I'm going to draw a circle, and I'm going to label it. Mammals. Okay, now, now I need to draw a circle to represent the category of dogs, all right? Now, all dogs are mammals. So the dog circle, that category, exists where? Inside the mammal circle. So here are my dogs. Done. I drew the sentence. Uh, and that's the basic uh, basis of a Euler diagram. Um, it gets tricky when you start adding other premises to it. Um, so if I said all dogs are mammals, uh, there's my first premise. My second premise, that's one. Number two, I'm going to say some dogs are brown. So now I have a, a second sentence that I have to draw on this same diagram, okay? So I've got a new category here, brown things, being or the state of being brown, brownness, whatever you want to call it. Um, not brown dogs, just the brown category itself. Uh, some dogs are brown, all right? So now I've got to draw it where, the, where some of the dog circle is in the brown circle. So I can draw it like this. And there's my circle for brown. Or, this is why, it's, this is why Euler diagrams are important. I could also draw it like this and let this be my category for brown. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the Euler diagram to test a conclusion. If I had concluded, let's say, therefore, three dots means therefore, therefore, uh, let's say I wanted to include all brown things are All right, you never draw the conclusion. What you do is you draw the first two premises and then you check to see if this drawing proves the conclusion. Now, can I conclude that all brown things are mammals? Well, if I had drawn a circle like this, then it would look that way because all the brown things are inside the mammal circle. But the point is that I could have drawn it another way, right? I could have drawn the brown circle so big that it goes outside because my statement is simply that some dogs are brown. And look at this circle. If this is my brown circle, that's a nice sound. I've got some dogs are brown, right? There's my brown dogs. These are the brown dogs right here. And here's some brown mammals. And here's some brown things that aren't mammals at all. We don't know what they are. And because I can draw the circle this way and still fit both of them to these premises, then I know that this conclusion is invalid. I had a, a philosophy professor in college that uh, he liked to use made-up words because the words don't actually matter. 
uh, what you're analyzing is the logic of the argument. Now, categorical syllogisms, you're not going to come up, you're not going to run into them in conversation a whole lot. Um, it's a good way to practice your logic. They, they don't exist as the entire argument uh, when you're arguing with somebody in real life. What, they'll, what you'll see is you'll see these categorical, categorical statements within people's arguments. So it's important to practice categorical syllogisms and get comfortable with them so that you're able to break them down within larger arguments. Uh, and that's why I like using the fake words, because then I'm not like, I'm not distracted by the words themselves. I'm looking at just the logic. Um, so if I had one that said, let's say, first premise, here we go. Some, my four-year-old likes making up words, so we'll use some of her made-up words. Some halas are Mixels. And my second premise. All mixels are. Hmm, give me another made up word. Chingas. I feel like that might be an actual Spanish word. I hope it's nothing bad. Um, therefore, None of the words matter, right? We're just looking at categories. It's a categorical syllogism. I don't give a crap what they mean. I can still look at the logic without understanding the words. Okay, so I'm gonna draw the first one. Some hollas are mixels. Okay, so this is like the dog thing, isn't it? Here's my mixels. And only some, only some hollas are mixels. So there's my hollas. Good. Some hollows are mixels. Not all of them. These are the hollows that are mixels. These are the non-mixel hollows. All right. All mixels are chingas. So this entire circle, the whole mixel circle, has to be inside the chinga circle. All right. And there's my chingas. Okay. Uh, now, can I conclude that all hollows are chingas? Well, no. Obviously not. No, that's stupid. Look, they're way over here. Here's a weird question, though. Is it possible? Is it possible that all hollows are chingas? Oh, well, there's that sound we're going to love. Could I have drawn it this way? Does it say all mixels are chingas? And I did that. But this time I have drawn it, drawn it where all hollows are also chingas. All right. Does that make this statement true? No. It means that it's possible, and we are just looking for a valid conclusion. We have to conclude this statement from these other two. All right. Let's look at one specific example from the exercise you're about to be doing. Um, it uses real words. Actually, all the ones are going to be use real words, and that's what throws people off sometimes. Um, so let me pull up that argument real quick. Oh, snap. It went away. Okay, it starts off and it says, all women are potential mothers. Okay, true statement, sure. Do again, doesn't matter if the statement's true though, we're just diagramming and looking at the logic. All women are potential mothers, so I've got a potential mothers circle. Oops. And all women are in that side of So here's mom. Women, okay? All women are inside the potential mother circle. And then it says, Betty is a potential mother. Betty's just an individual, so I'm just gonna draw a dot rather than a category. Where do I put Betty? She has to be inside this, because it says Betty is a potential mother. But I could put her here. Hey, Betty. Or I could put her here. Because the premise says Betty is a potential mother. And then it tries to conclude Betty is a woman. And you might be thinking, oh, obviously Betty's a woman. You can't do that. You have to look at the actual argument you were given. All women are potential mothers. Betty is a potential mother. Because Betty could be, I don't know, your pet 
freaking parakeet that's female. Potential mother, right? Um, so Betty is not necessarily a woman. So that is an invalid argument, all right? So we're gonna practice. There's a whole bunch of them. Some of them get really weird. Use Canvas chat, use your friends, talk to people about it. Um, uh, you're gonna have to draw a Euler diagram for every single one of those arguments. All right, good luck guys.